Hey guys, it's Ben. Welcome to the channel. Today I am bringing you guys my very first Hot Toys unboxing. It is of the Zack Snyder's Justice League double pack which includes the black suited Superman as well as Nightmare Batman. Now I really wanted you know to have my first Hot Toys be Superman and Batman because that movie to me is very iconic and I think that was gonna take me into the Hot Toy collecting status. I just wanted to come out with a bang for my first Hot Toys unboxing, and I'm pretty excited about it. However, I've had a bit of issues with UPS over the last week. It was supposed to come last Friday, it didn't. It just arrived today. Once opening up my front door, you know, I saw the package. It honestly looked like it had been kind of tampered with. I don't know. I don't know if that's just a Hot Toys, the way they ship out their boxes, but they put a little slap of Hot Toy uh, sticker with a 10% uh, coupon on it with just one piece of tape on the top and it was, you know, a little bit open. Pretty sure it, it was damaged on route. Um, hopefully the figures are okay. I usually don't uh, gripe too much about the shipping boxes as long as the actual product is intact. I'm not sure if I'm going to reach out to Sideshow and see if they can send out a replacement uh, cover art box. I'm very curious to see what the figures look like, so hopefully the box isn't that bad of a deal. I don't usually display my boxes. You guys can see I don't open them yet. I do like to have some collectibles in the boxes. That way sometimes I can just show them off in the background. I do know in the refund policy or exchange policy, you do have a 30-day window from when it's delivered, and they do have actual uh, guidelines whether the product is damaged. The shipping box, if it's damaged or dented, they don't really replace anything, but they do have a section that says if the cover art is damaged or severely dented they might actually replace it depending on stock so I am gonna go that route just in case because I did spend over $500 on this and I don't know if this is because this is what you get with free shipping on some of the products but some of the other hot toys that I have pre-ordered you do pay a $30 shipping fee and so if that's gonna be the case I am really gonna be disappointed with some of my next products if they are dented in the same way hopefully this is just a fluke this is just a one-time thing I do have my spider-man coming out next so hopefully that is packaged a lot better Without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so here it is. We got Nightmare Batman and Superman from Zack Snyder's Justice League. Pretty excited, so let's see what we got in here. All right, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see off the top, man, it looks severely dented and damaged. That is not a $500 product right there. The top of that box just looks completely crushed. This is terrible. The top, terrible. But at least this looks pretty cool. You got one side, you got Batman. Other side, you got Superman on the back. That's a pretty cool art piece. Don't know if I'm going to have it displayed like this or if I'll put the slip cover back on. The slip cover actually isn't as damaged. It's just got that one dent right here, but the actual package of the box is. And so if there was anything on this side of the packaging, it would have been pretty damaged. This uh, shipping part of this plastic encasement is all dented man that's very frustrating for $500 guys all right so you got these cool little compartments it looks like it is of the Batman's gun so you got a one pistol right there also got this little cool uh, assault rifle type gun has the Joker card right here very cool detail well, that's awesome. It's got some weight to it, you know? It's not like one of those cheap uh, McFarlane or Hasbro uh, plastic. This is pretty uh, substantial right here. That's actually pretty cool. It's got one pair of binoculars. You do see the crack in the lens to show his dystopian nightmare sequence. So that's kind of cool. Really wish you couldn't see through these, but uh, really can't. All right, and then with Superman, you got the same exact things. You got some uh, some hands right here. He has his flight hands, open palm hands, and his grasping hands. I also believe this little piece right here are batteries. Uh, it's to light up his eyes. We'll get to that later. Ooh, who do I start with first? Ah, oh, this is sick, guys. Ooh, man. Look at that reveal. Ooh-wee. Look at that head. The texture of it feels really cool, man. This is pretty sick. Oh, this is awesome. I'll have to see the instructions on how to uh, remove his faceplate. He does have two other little face gestures that I can put in there, but I might just keep this stock one. This one is cool. It even has his little mole on his, uh, his cheek right here, but the stubble is nice, man. This is pretty cool. Liking this. Oh, this is some high tech quality, guys. Okay, put him right there. 
Not entirely sure how well they stand without the stands, but we're gonna try. All right, so we got Bruce right there. Uh, here's my boy Clark. Uh, this is nice. It uh, it's wiry. That's cool. So we got this. Oh man, now this head sculpt is freaking impeccable. That is some high quality stuff, guys. I know a lot of people said it's just a redone head sculpt of the BVS one, but I don't know. In person, this looks phenomenal. Look at this bad boy. This is cool. All right, changed out Superman's head sculpt. This looks, oh. Ah, that's how you take it out, okay. And a little bit of a screwdriver right here. I was wondering how that was gonna work. It just comes right off. Okay. So this is where his uh, the batteries go into that little component. This is the other secondary head sculpt. Gotta get some screwdrivers to go and put the lights on. But the head sculpt on its own looks really awesome, man. That looks badass. I gotta fix the uh, the cape a little bit. It has all these wires in here. And not entirely sure how to pose it yet, so I gotta play with it just a little bit to see the way I want it, but the uh, the cape right now is all like squished together, uh, but it does have some wires in the back. But man, this head sculpt, without it being uh, lit up, it actually looks really cool. I do like his laser eyes. I will get my uh, handy dandy screwdriver and screw those little things out. That way I can put it on. There looks like there's a switch right here. So that says off and on. All right, let's see how that's gonna work. All right guys, finally put his batteries in his head. The hardest part about the batteries is actually putting the screw back inside. That took a lot longer than expected, but putting the batteries honestly in wasn't that bad. They are very tiny though, so be very careful when handling those that you don't drop them. But yeah, he looks really cool. And the funny part is once you take this head off, the red light, the LED light is super bright. Like I almost blinded myself, but it looks really cool once you put the head back on. It looks solid, That that is awesome. He does have some uh, flexibility in his arms over here. Because this is my first one, I don't want to, you know, bend him too much. I know his arms go up a little bit. They go back a little bit. You don't really want to stretch him out too much. I know uh, some people don't like to. And there goes his head. So yeah, uh, buyer beware when you put this head scope on. Don't hold him from this head because this head just slides right off of it because there's no peg in place. The peg is actually on the black part of it. Definitely do not try to remove it with the head because the head will just come right off. As you can see with the other head sculpt this is how it looks like side by side i really like the regular relaxed face this one is more if he is in his angry pose which i might have him displayed like that occasionally but i definitely probably gonna have him just with his regular stock head because i already put the batteries in i'll see how he looks just with this one and we'll go from there all right guys here is nightmare batman all out of his plastic packaging looks really cool man I really like this Nightmare Batman. Got the little bit of uh, desert detail as well as some bullet wounds on his suit. This looks really cool. There's also some wiring in here as well. That way I can style it the way I want to. It's not as excessive as the Superman one you got here where I can just widen it out completely. But you do got some wiring in the cape as well as on the collar right here. This looks pretty cool. Uh, I haven't gotten the tool out to uh, remove his mouthpiece yet. Uh, that looks like more of a thing that I'll do in my spare time But if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know down below in the comments as of right now I'm just gonna keep him in his stock the Superman took a little bit longer than I wanted to in the uh, in the battery section so uh, This actual his holster or his utility belt does come out. It has a little clip right here in the back That's awesome. I'll probably just keep it on but I really do like the holster, so I'm going to put his uh, little pistol in there. If I can find it, here it is. I'm just going to place that in there. So that's cool. Looks really solid right there. And then I will put on his other gun. He just has it on his, uh, I think it's right here somewhere. Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to move the arm or something like that. Goes over. 
Aha, there we go. Got it on the back, looks really cool. You see the little Joker card on there. That's awesome. And the stands are actually very durable. But like if I move my desk, I don't really see him moving as much. A little skeptical about the Batman one as well, because I was just like, what is this? But actually this moves up and down. So that was actually pretty cool. Cause at first I put Batman on and he was just toppling over this little stand right here. But once you put him on right here as such, and then it can go up just a little bit. So that way he doesn't fall over. He has that holding him in place. All in all, guys, I am pretty satisfied. Here he is. He's got his little eye protective gear. He's got his bandana on. He's got his assault rifle, as well as his little pistol right here. Man, this is a solid figure. Uh, definitely, definitely loving this one, man. This is a really good addition to my collection. Uh, we'll see how my uh, Hot Toys journey goes, you know. Uh, was a little disappointed with the shipping and packaging, but... At least the figures are well intact. I gotta find a place to put them to displayed. Uh, I do know, you know, with the heavy cost that you do have on these figures, you definitely want them to have them in some kind of protective encasing, you know, just to protect them from the dust and whatnot. I gotta invest in a uh, new cabinet, maybe. We'll see how that goes, because some of my other uh, lower tiered figures are just out in the open, but I do have to dust every so often. But I know there's a lot of those Ikea encasings. They got the Billy bookshelves, and they got the Billy glass door bookshelves as well. But those are really pricey. I'm trying to keep my shelf to a minimum budget, so hopefully I can find something cool. Maybe I'll catch something on a sale. But let me know some recommendations down below on what you guys have your hot toys in or if you have your action figures maybe in something similar. I'm definitely liking the Nightmare Batman. I think the detail exceeds my expectations. I think it's really well made. You know, he's got his little cloth pants, you know, the, the bat symbol right here on his chest, the cool little trench coat. I think all in all, the Batman one is a stellar addition to anybody's collection i definitely love the the stands that they come with also very interesting is that the fact that hot toys kept the original justice league uh logo design that is actually for the theatrical cut of zach's justice league back in 2017 that is usually what you had on most of the promotional uh aspects of the figures and the and the movie at first before they switched off to the justice league but i definitely love this little bit of the star right there in justice side by side you know they look very good definitely loving all the little details where it comes to the joseph campbell quote in superman's s on his chest got it right here silver looks really cool the downside to superman is that he doesn't really come with a lot because he is just you know superman he's in his suit he's got his fist he flies you know he shoots lasers out of his eyes you know at least with batman he got these cool little gadgets that comes with him i'm definitely probably going to switch out superman's head i i don't like his angry face this head sculpt is more or less for the actual nightmare scene that goes well with the red blue and yellow suit so this face sculpt is not very accurate to Zack Snyder's Justice League when he goes into the nightmare scene I believe it's still based off of BVS so this is his head sculpt that he is in the nightmare sequences as opposed in Zack Snyder's Justice League when he does have his laser vision it is more of a uh, uh of a grimace like a frowned upon look as opposed to what you get here with his teeth all exposed. I'm very overall satisfied. I've been playing with these figures for the last couple of hours now. I'm very excited because my next one is The Amazing Spider-Man, which is Andrew Garfield. Very happy to finally get that one. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Check my latest unboxings. Make sure you guys enter my current giveaway, guys. I do have my Blue Beetle giveaway going on right now, right before the Halloween Day of the Dead festivities. This is a cool little giveaway free of charge. Make sure you watch that Blue Beetle video. I'll post it right here in case you guys haven't seen it as always guys thanks for watching make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already turn on those notifications so you guys are notified of my latest unboxings and or giveaways and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace